want to thank you for coming out on this beautiful day. We're here to provide a marker of respect for the deceased indigents and unclaimed and unknown individuals whose burials were the responsibility of the county. Some of these people are long forgotten. If they were somebody's son or daughter or father or mother, brother or sister, they were all human beings. I appreciate the presence of all of you who've joined us today and helped make this dedication possible. This hill holds the remains of 13,000 men, women, and children. 13,000. We don't know how or why they came to this final resting place, but we do know that it's our responsibility to treat this place with respect, care, and compassion. Cook County began burying deceased individuals who were indigent unknown or unclaimed at this site in 1980. And those burials continued here with the exception of two years for roughly three decades. I should point out that under the leadership of medical examiner Dr. Stephen Cena, we've changed the way we handle county burials. Yet this common grave, which came to be known as a potter's field, served as a testament to the practices of the past. And while we can't change the mistakes of the past, can make an appropriate gesture in remembrance of those who rested. This monument is the result of the commendable efforts of the Cook County Medical Examiner's Advisory Committee and the generosity of a private monument. I would especially like to commend Detective Jason Moran, Moran of the Cook County Sheriff's Office, a member of the Advisory Committee, for pursuing this idea with the support of other members. Every year we join the Interfaith Memorial Observation for Indigent Persons at the First United Methodist Church in Chicago, Jim. And we're reminded of the words of the late Earl Lewis, founder of this service. To live and die alone is a human tragedy, but not to be remembered and mourned after earthly life is an ugly blemish on human dignity. By dedicating this monument today, we're heeding the words of Mr. Lewis. In the spirit of humility and respect for those whose final resting place lies beneath this hill, I want to thank all of you for coming today. I want to personally thank Tony, Dr. Cena, and the, the county board members for what we have put together here today. It is truly uh, an amazing thing. Less than a little over two years ago, last when we had a major snowstorm, I was out here during that snowstorm. What I saw was disgraceful. What we're doing today is rectifying a horrible blemish on all of us. This was absolutely disgraceful what was going on out here the way the poor people, the indigent, were being treated. We should all had our, hang our heads in shame. It was horrific. People were stacked 16 on top of each other. People were buried sideways. People were buried with animal parts with them. It was horrific, absolutely horrific. This is great what we're doing today, but we can never forget. As Tony mentioned, these were people's sons and daughters, brothers and sisters, mothers and fathers. We are supposed to take care of them, treat them with dignity. We can never forget this again. We must remember from mistakes of the past that who these people are and our roles and our responsibilities. Collectively, we are happy to see this put in the proper place. It could not have been done without the work of the county board, President Preckwinkle, and Dr. Cena. But once again, we cannot forget. What I saw out here, I'll never forget, and it was so wrong and disgraceful. We can never let that happen again. I want to thank everybody for coming out on this uh, beautiful sunny day. Um, 13,000 unclaimed indigents, unknowns. They've never had a marker. And with the generosity went on, went to funeral uh, memorials. Uh, Jason Moran, the medical examiner advisory committee, which I'm honored to serve on with my fellow colleagues. I want to thank them as well. We can no longer say there will be no marker um, here after this unveiling. So thank you very much for being here. God bless everybody. Embrace and enjoy the blessings of the season. Thank you. Like the deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul is yearning for you, my God. My soul is thirsting for God, the God of my life. When can I enter and see the face of God? My tears have become my bread by night, by day, as I hear it said all the day long, where is your God? These things will I remember as I pour out my soul 
how I would lead the rejoicing crowd into the house of God. Cries of gladness and thanksgiving, the throng wild with joy. Why are you cast down, my soul? Why groan within me? Open God, I will praise him still, my Savior and my God. My soul is cast down within me as I think of you from the country of Jordan and Mount Hermon, from the hill of Mizar. Deep is calling on deep in the roar of waters, your torrents and all your waves swept over me. By day the Lord will send his loving kindness. By night I will sing to him, praise the God of my life. I will say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why do I go mourning, oppressed by the foe, with cries that pierce me to the heart? My enemies revile me, saying to me all the day long, where is your God? Why are you cast down, my soul? Why groan within me? Hope in God, I will praise him still, my Savior and my God. The Lord must reign until God has brought all of his enemies under his feet. The last enemy to be destroyed is death. And death and Sheol will give up their dead. Death and Sheol will be cast into the fiery lake. Almighty God, bless all those who are here. Bless all those, bless the monument that attests to the fact that death is not the end of life, but it's wonderful transformation. Beg, dear Lord, that those buried here and at this monument stay to the fact that faith is what spurs us on. As citizens of Cook County, as brothers and sisters of the United States of America, Thanksgiving for our freedom, for our faith, for each other, and for the kindness of all those who have brought us to this moment. And may eternal rest rest for those buried here. May eternal rest bring safety to their souls now and for all eternity.